What's going on guys, Nathan with Technology Smash back with another video and today I have an unboxing and quick look at the 2023 Moto G Play. This is a fully unlocked version. It, it does say it's made for the US. Um, it is pretty cheap right now actually on Amazon. It's only $110 down from $170 so this is definitely a budget phone for sure. Um, it is running on Android 12 according to the information on Amazon where I got it and I'll link it in the description below. Um, it has a six and a half inch HD display up to three day battery life with 5,000 milliamp hours which is huge. 16 megapixel triple camera system, 32 gigs of built in storage and I believe three gigs of RAM and you can add up to 512 gigs of micro SD card storage water repellent design, uh, fingerprint reader, and it comes with the phone, a 10 watt charger, USB cable, and SIM ejection tool. So besides the boringness of the box, it seems like uh, Motorola is using this eco-friendly packaging, which is kind of cool. Looks a little bit different. It looks like a very recycled package. So let's get right into this. Uh, and the color that I have here today is just called blue. They have blue, pink and it looks like indigo so it's just this little slit right here it kind of folds open from the side so the phone is right there on the top and it's got like that paper coated stuff on it instead of plastic so let's see what else we get in here we have eco friendly packaging plastic free recyclable with soy ink got little guides you got your SIM ejection tool, got your 10 watt charger, so nothing crazy here, but again, budget phone. And we have our um, micro, um, sorry, traditional USB-A to USB-C. So it's a USB type C. That's it, everything else in the box is just paper. So let's go ahead and take a look at the actual phone here. You just peel this off to the side just like that and that is a nice matte coated material it's a pretty tall phone wow very tall phone um, a look around while we turn it on here so there's a power button right here under the volume rocker I'm gonna hold it to turn it on there it starts so you have volume rocker on the side there with a with a textured power button so you can tell the difference nothing else on that side there on the opposite side you have your sim tray here on the bottom we have a speaker and USB type C and looks like a microphone and then on the very top that is in fact a headphone jack and then on the back here you can see fingerprint reader and triple camera system here as well so feels pretty nice in the hand um, for this price of a device um, and it's it's not bad again super tall and that camera looks like it's almost right in the center you can see it's pretty far down from the top uh, let's go ahead and start here let's see if we can get this set up connect to a mobile network we're gonna go ahead and skip that we're going to connect to the Wi-Fi here Okay, connecting. So it's a tiny bit off center from the hole punch up there, which is strange. It's hard to tell, but it's a little bit off. So you can see the bezels aren't crazy. They're not too bad. There's a pretty good chin at the bottom, pretty solid amount. Um, this is currently saying it can't connect let's see let's try this again it is connected not sure why it said that accept and continue so again this is definitely a budget phone um, it says that the normal price is 140 and the price that i got it for was 109 um, the style there's two separate styles there's an unlocked smartphone is the just the full title and then a g pure this is the unlocked smartphone 
you can see kind of like those bleeding colors, uh, the bleeding darks around like that camera hole. I don't know how well the camera, my camera is going to pick it up, but it's definitely not perfect. Uh, you can tell that there's some, it's almost like bleed to the, to the phone. So let's go ahead and wait for this to set up here and then we will come back and take a look. All right, we are all set up here, at least to the main screen. So the setup was super quick. I didn't put everything in, so my personal information is not actually in here yet. Um, you can see this is kind of how it launches right off the bat. So I'm gonna see if the, if the, okay, the brightness was all the way up. So that's a little bit disappointing just because it's not the brightest screen I've ever seen. But again, $110, kind of hard to complain unless the screen is completely unusable, which is definitely not. But off axis, it's definitely giving weird viewing angles. That is almost pretty accurate right there. You can see how much it degrades as you turn side to side, which that depends on how you are. For me, it's usually not a huge deal because most of the time you're looking at your phone straight on. It's only a weird thing when you kind of have it down somewhere and you take a look. Um, the phone itself is downloading some stuff right now, so I don't know in terms of smoothness. It's probably going to take a little bit to get a little bit more fluid. Um, it's not bad. I, I, I'm not a huge fan, like I said earlier, of the way that this stuff looks to line up. Like at the top here, you can tell notifications look a little bit off. Um, I would prefer these to be like higher up in the corner. It's just like those fit and finish type things. It's probably just normal software that kind of fits what they are used to on most of their phones. Uh, but overall, I mean, it, it's for it's amazing where we've been able to get with $100 phones. This phone is $109.99 right now. And like I said, I'll link it below. Um, seems pretty nice. I mean, for what you're getting, it's, uh, it's got that triple camera array. So let's see, we're going to not allow our note our, our uh, location. I'm just going to do something super simple here and just see how fast. Okay, takes a little picture. I'm sure it's not gonna be the best camera in the world, but it'll probably be serviceable for a lot of, if not most people. Um, yeah, I, 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 like I said, I'm kind of blown away how, how good cheap, cheap phones are getting. It's almost like they're getting to the, to the level where it's like a, the price of an old burner phone back in the day, or it's like a flip phone you use for, you know, prepaid service. So, um, uh, very nice feel. Like I said, in the hand feels really good. I'm sure. Yep. It has those built in Motorola functions that double chop for flashlight. So I'm sure let's see if we twist probably a camera. Maybe not, let's see. The fingerprint reader, by the way, um, seems to work pretty quickly. It doesn't unlock the fastest I've ever seen. You know, if you touch right here, if I'm able to catch it on camera, it's kind of slow. But again, you, these are all things to expect with a cheaper budget phone. So feel free to ask any questions below. I wanted to give this a quick little look and view for anybody thinking about getting this phone or wondering kind of how it runs. You can see it's a little bit choppy. Like I said, it's not going to be the, the quickest, uh, chip set in here, I'm sure. But, um, I'll link the information below, um, so that you can check one out if you're thinking about getting one. Um, and yeah, that, that'll, that'll just about do it. So thanks for watching and I will catch you guys next time. Thanks.